Hello, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. I haven't revealed these on the channel yet, so I thought it was about time that I did so. Tennyson Kingsley provided these. You've seen perhaps some of my other videos with Porcelio Hoffman's Egg Eye, the nominate form, and Porcelio Hoffman's Egg Eye Black. But this is the first time I've shown my Porcelio Hoffman's Egg Eye Orange on this channel. Now these are youngsters, juveniles. You can see a couple down there in the substrate. There I see three right now. And then there are three here. Oh, those are so beautiful. Very similar to Porcelio Magnificus in many respects visually, although they have more uh, a more pronounced white border, and uh, they are easier to take care of than Magnificus. I have kept Magnificus before, successfully bred them and kept them for quite a while. My colony eventually crashed, but uh, these beauties are going to be easier to take care of, and very very similar in appearance. They are descended from the nominate form. And uh, the nominate form also has a chocolate morph. There's a uh, whiteout morph as well. And I believe there are some people working on crossing the white with the orange to see if we can get some yellow ones. Um, invertebrate dudes working on that, I believe. And possibly other people as well. But they are fantastic. And these are probably about half an inch long-ish somewhere close to a centimeter long. But they will get much, much bigger with time. Look at those gorgeous antennae and the, the gorgeous white skirt, as well as the white border on most of the, uh, most of the segments of the perion. They're less clear on the pleon there, but uh, very, very beautiful. I, I see some variation too in individuals, like these two individuals on the right have uh, a paler areas in the along the median line uh, compared to this uh, specimen on the left. Very interesting. Not sure what's going on there. I've had these for a couple of months now. They've probably doubled, maybe tripled in mass at this point from when I got them. And hopefully uh, sometime in 2025, perhaps the spring, I will have some offspring. The very first time I saw Porcelio Hoffman's AI Orange, I knew I wanted them and I didn't know when I'd end up getting them, but uh, Tennyson is local to me and so we have conducted various trades uh, as, and as well as gone on a couple of bugging trips together uh, along with Raceland and uh, Billy. They're uh, all family members and uh, they're all, they all three participate in live streams and follow the channel and so on. So if any of you are watching this video, uh, I say hi and a big thanks for these uh, beauties and I hope to have a video in the not too distant future featuring the offspring of these specimens from Tennyson. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment if you haven't already. Subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.